up close and personal. What are you doing? This is Brooke Hoover coming at you. Uh, we've been we've been talking about rock and roll rhythm guitar. All right, and so I think a lot of guitar teachers probably just assume this is kid stuff, and like ah, oh, you know, they don't need to know that. Sometimes I think that, <laughs> but guilty as charged. Here's the idea: a root and a fifth mix a power chord. Let's try the neck pickup. Right, that's a G5, so it's a G plus a D. The fifth note in the G major scale is D. One, two, three, four, five. That's why it's called a G5. But don't worry about that. Just know that that's a power chord. G is the root, third fret, six strings. Critical you can find that quickly. And the fifth. So really it's just a movable shape. G, G sharp. Instant rock and roll. You can make up your own thing. You can also move that one string towards the floor, like this. G to C, and back to G. Which sounds good, because it's, it's used in a lot of songs. So if we did rock and roll rhythm guitar like this on G, and moving to C, this is how it would go. So it's got to be pretty tight too, it can't be, if you're not used to this, it's going to sound kind of raggedy. And I know what that sounds like. You got to get it to where I, the way I'm sounding. I'm making little mistakes in there too. So, you can move it like I just said, or take it up to this C5, which is an 8 and a 10 on the 6th and 5th strings. So it's G5, rock and roll, to C, up here at 8 and 10. I heard somebody say it's like you're staying on the same uh, bus line or subway. You just stay on the same track and come on, come on up to the station and back to that station. Versus jumping to another train is when you jump other train tracks when you uh, hop a string, which you got to do. So which one's best? I don't care. Do I would do both. Let's go to the bridge pickup and do it uh, well, both ways. Let me know if you like that or if you have any questions and we'll uh, 